Ever thought about the difference between a Thai massage and a Swedish massage is? Well, you're not alone. In this video, we're going to dive deep into the world of massage therapy, comparing the techniques, origins, and unique benefits of these two popular styles. Whether you're a seasoned spa goer or just looking for a new way to unwind, we've got you covered. Stick with us as we unravel the mystery behind Thai and Swedish massages. First off, let's take a step back in history. Thai massage, also known as Nuad Boran, boasts a rich heritage dating back over 2,000 years to ancient India. Rooted in Ayurvedic healing traditions and Buddhist philosophies, this form of massage is more than just physical therapy. It's a spiritual experience that aims to harmonize the body, mind, and spirit. On the other hand, Swedish massage, the brainchild of Per Henrik Ling, originated in Europe in the early 19th century. Ling, an esteemed educator and gymnastics instructor, developed this approach in line with Western understandings of anatomy and physiology. Unlike its Thai counterpart, Swedish massage largely focuses on the physical aspects of healing. It aims to soothe muscular tension and improve circulation through long, gliding strokes and targeted pressure. These distinct origins reflect the unique ethos each massage embodies. Now that we've uncovered where these massages originated, let's delve into the techniques each one employs. So, how does a Thai massage differ from a Swedish one in practice? Dive into the world of Thai massage, and you'll find yourself immersed in a dynamic technique that is sometimes referred to as the lazy man's yoga. Imagine your therapist maneuvering your body into a series of yoga-like stretches, applying pressure along your body's energy lines, and using their thumbs, palms, elbows, knees, and even their feet to apply pressure. This blend of stretching and pressure aims to free the flow of energy, promoting balance and relaxation. On the other hand, if you step into the realm of Swedish massage, you'll find a more familiar scene. Swedish massage therapists use five basic strokes, effleurage, long flowing strokes, petrissage, kneading the muscles, friction, circular pressures, tapotament, percussive movements, and vibration, rapid shaking of certain muscles. These techniques are designed to improve blood circulation, ease muscular tension, and promote relaxation. The therapist's hands are the primary tools, administering a firm but gentle pressure that guides your body into a state of deep relaxation. Both Thai and Swedish massages may use oils or lotions, and you can expect to be covered with sheets for modesty. However, while Swedish massage is typically performed on a massage table, Thai massage often takes place on a padded mat on the floor. The techniques used in these massages are different, but they both aim to provide relaxation and healing. Let's see how. What can you gain from choosing either a Thai or Swedish massage? Let's delve into the benefits of each, starting with Thai massage. Renowned for its ability to improve flexibility, Thai massage manipulates your body into yoga-like stretches, making it a perfect choice for those seeking to enhance their mobility. Furthermore, it promotes better energy flow, aligning your body's sen or energy lines to foster a sense of holistic well-being. On the other hand, if you're grappling with the stressors of daily life or intense muscle tension, a Swedish massage might just be your ticket to tranquility. Characterized by long, flowing strokes, it encourages the release of muscle knots and promotes relaxation. This type of massage is also known to stimulate blood circulation, helping to flush out toxins and rejuvenate your system. So, whether it's improved mobility and energy you seek, or stress relief and muscle relaxation, both Thai and Swedish massages offer a wealth of benefits. Choosing between a Thai or Swedish massage really comes down to your personal needs and preferences. So, which one is right for you, Thai or Swedish massage? Making this decision involves understanding your personal needs and wellness goals. Are you seeking a more active, invigorating experience? Or are you looking for pure relaxation and stress relief? Thai massage is often considered more dynamic. It's like a yoga session, but you're not doing the work. The therapist is. It can leave you feeling both relaxed and energized, making it an excellent choice if you want to revitalize your body and mind. On the other hand, Swedish massage is all about relaxation. It's designed to soothe tired muscles, encourage blood flow, and relieve stress. If you're looking for a tranquil session that leaves you feeling peaceful and rejuvenated, Swedish massage might be your top pick. Remember, the most important thing is that the massage meets your personal wellness goals and needs. So, which one will you choose for your next spa day?